blown your youth. You spent the years between 18 and 35 doing whatever the hell you chose to do. No heat, no judgment. But you blew your youth. When your counterparts who were looking to marry up and marry well were getting married their junior and senior year in college, the first and second year after college, they were married at 22 and 23 and you were laughing at those white girls and those Asian girls getting married at 22, 23. You get married after college, that's too young. We need to go on girl trips and having our best life and hot girl summer and all this other bullshit. Now, they're 10 years into their marriage, three kids deep, and their husband's a VP of marketing somewhere. And while you uh, still got to, you know, you and your cats are, are living in a, a loft downtown, driving your BMW in a middling career. You ain't on no career track. You blew your youth. You blew your youth. You can't get that back. You don't have time to play any more games. You don't have another 10 years to try to figure this shit out. You'll be 50. You don't have time to keep playing games. That was the late, great Kevin Samuels. Almost lost the mic there. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's what I'll do with that moment. That was the late, great Kevin Samuels who talks about you blowing your youth. And here's the thing. You can do what you want. I mean, young ladies, if you want to go part of your life away, no one's telling you to do anything. You can part of your life away. You can focus. Your, this is the mistake you make. You can part of your life away. You can focus your career first. Okay, cool. You can do that. But here's the thing. If you think that any man worth his salt is going to wait for you, I mean a man that you really want is going to wait, I say good luck. The chances are going to be so against you. And this is where you make that mistake. You think like, okay, so what? I rack up a high body count. I put my career, you know, in the forefront, take care of that. By the time I hit like at, after 35, I'll settle down. After I got everything out of my system. Are you serious? Got what out of your system? The, the three or four phase? I hate to tell you this. Once you go that route, you're not going to just turn it off. Why? Because like you ran out of what? No, you don't. The only different experiences, especially God forbid, and you they run across some really messed up, toxic dudes. I promise you, the most toxic dudes are be the ones who you love best in bed. And I can guarantee you, the guys, they're in your roster. Even if you get married, you're not getting rid of them off your roster. You think, come on. That's insane. But the bottom line is this. Once you hit 30, 35, you know, good luck. Now, I'm not saying, like, it's a total loss, because I hear stories of women who, like, say up to 35 to 55 find love and get married. That's great. You also have to be careful of your mindset as well. If you just came out, like, say, age 35, you had a long career, you racked a high body count, but you have the same expectations that you had in your early 20s, the dude who you want is going to look at you and laugh and like, are you a virgin? No. Are you pure? No. Hmm. I, so you're not a virgin. You're not pure. And you have a high body count. No, thank you. And don't get me wrong. There's some simps who will go for it. But guess what? Simps get tired of the games too. Yeah. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying any girl age... 18, 19, get married. No, I'm not going to say that. You got to be, for both the male and the female, the men, young men and women, between the age of 18, 19, you better have a mature mindset before you think about getting married. That I can safely tell you. Because people say, oh, these young people get married, only get divorced years later. That's true. But the same can be said for the same people who wait to get in their 30s to get married. And guess what? Same thing. But here's a kicker, though. Majority of divorces are initiated by women. Check any courthouse across America, from New York to California. Yeah, a majority of them, more than 75% of them are initiated by women. But my point being is that if you don't waste your youth and all that, it's good to try to enjoy life. I mean, I'll be the last human being to say, don't enjoy life. I'm not going to say that, but don't waste it either. If you have a person that's interested in you, and like, say, for second argument, when the guy's not exactly like, you know, the top 1%, don't ignore him. He may be the one person who guarantee you love and happiness. Let's keep that in mind, please. So what do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. Peace.